Hello everyone, this is Cindy again with Monarch Mom DIY. Thanks for joining me for this video. If you're new here, a special welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Today I have three new succulent DIYs for you. For the first one, we're using the three wooden signs and the succulent wall stickers. These signs measure about five inches square and have a raised circle in the middle. The first thing I'm doing is removing the circle and the piece that is raising it up from the back of the sign. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little rub of sandpaper to try and smooth out that paper and then we'll be ready to paint. Here I'm just trying to plan out which of the succulent wall stickers will go on each size circle. To start, I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss, and I'm going to paint the insides of these signs, both the backing and up the sides. I did have to do about two good coats to cover up the design on the back of the signs. So while you're watching me paint this, I do want to encourage you to watch till the very end of this video. I do have a surprise giveaway that I'm doing that I did not announce in the title or description so that it's really only open to my faithful subscribers and watchers. So stay tuned. This wood grain scrapbook paper I've used before is from Hobby Lobby and is usually only 25 cents a sheet. I'm just going to Mod Podge some of this onto each of the circles. And if you wanted to make this a completely Dollar Tree project, you could just paint the back of the circles a contrasting color that you did the background of the box. This is the matte finish Mod Podge that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I used a little bit too much, but I just put a layer and then stuck the paper down. And then once the paper is dry, I will come back and do a layer over the top. And back to our wood signs, I'm now going to go around the edge and the outside of the box with a lighter green. This is the color Celery. Now that the scrapbook paper is secured to the circles, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my three succulent wall stickers to the circles and then put a layer of Mod Podge over top just to seal them down. While those are drying, moving back to the wood signs, I'm now taking the color celery and just going around the outside edge of the signs. If you remember from the beginning, two of them were black around the outside and one of them was a natural wood. So I want them all to look the same. Thank you. 
what do you guys think of these two green chalk paint colors together i just really love the darker in the back and then the lighter contrast and i think you're gonna like how they look with the succulent wall stickers too For my final step, I'm just taking some hot glue and re-sticking these circles to the middle of the wood signs. So what do you guys think? I love the versatility of these wood signs because they do have a thick frame. You can just stand them up on a shelf or on a mantle or a dresser or bookcase or they do have the sawtooth hanger on the back. And here's the finished product. I'd really love to know what you guys think of this home decor DIY. For this next project, I'm using some jumbo craft sticks from Walmart that you sometimes can find at Dollar Tree and also some of the succulent plants from Dollar Tree. So I printed out a hexagon shape for this project. You could do this without, just by lining up your craft sticks. You can use wood glue for this project if you'd like. Just for the sake of the video, today I'm going to use hot glue. So I first started by laying out every other craft stick, so just three. Then I'm gluing the other three on top. So it's going to have kind of two layers. I don't know if that made sense, but we're going to be applying three sticks at a time and it'll be every other stick. So this package of jumbo craft sticks came with 75. I'm going to continue going around until I have 12 thick. I love this color of chalk paint because it looks like a dark walnut colored stain. This is Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle. And now I'm just going to keep working on painting this hexagon shelf with this color truffle until it looks like it's completely covered and you can't see any of the natural craft stick color coming through. What I love about these hexagon shelves is that you can use any size craft sticks to make this. Even the original size craft sticks will work. The burlap wasn't part of my original plan, but I wanted to give another shout out to burlapfabric.com for sending me some goodies. And I thought this would make a really nice backdrop for the back of my shelf. So I'm again using this really nice weight burlap ribbon on a roll, and I'm going to cut two pieces and hot glue them to the back of my shelf. If you have not yet seen my video where I unbox my goodies from burlapfabric.com, I will link that in the description box below and also include a link to their website. And here's the shelf with the burlap backing. And now the fun part of arranging my succulent plants, how I want them in my shelf. Thank you. 
Again, as in some of my other succulent DIYs, like the bowl, this is completely your taste. You can do as many or as few succulents as you want. And I just think this is so gorgeous. And here's our finished product. What do you guys think? I think it would be fun to make a couple different sizes of these hexagon shelves and hang them together. And for this third project, I'm using some five gallon paint stirrers from Walmart, or you could use wooden rulers from Dollar Tree, the white metal buckets, and some more succulent plants. Also using some plain colored Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree. If you're using the five gallon paint stir sticks that are three for 97 cents from Walmart, I just took them over to my dad's and just sawed off the um, indented end, like where you would hold it if you are stirring paint with it. This made them all about 17 inches long. And now I'm taking my Jenga blocks to see how many I need to glue together to make the end of my little box. And I'm starting out gluing four Jenga blocks together and doing that two times, one for each end of my box. I decided four Jenga blocks was not quite wide enough, so I'm going to add a fifth. And now I'm just taking my wood glue and I'm going to glue two of the sticks together to be the base of my box, and then one on either side for the sides of my box. Next, I'm gluing my two Jenga block ends to the ends of my box, and then I will put the sides on. I had so much fun creating this box. It did remind me a little bit of the video I did a little while back on how to make your own wooden crates, either using these paint sticks or using wooden rulers. I'll be sure to link that video at the end of this video in case you haven't seen it yet. So while my box is drying, I'm going to take six of these white metal buckets. These are in the wedding section at Dollar Tree. They come in a package of three for a dollar. And then I'm taking six different succulents. I'm going to take the succulent and the foam out of the little plastic pot and put them in this metal bucket. 
and I forgot to show this floral moss in the picture of my supplies, but I am using just a tiny bit of this just to cover up the black color of the foam and give it a little more of a realistic look. Of course, now it's your preference. You could leave this box with the unfinished wood. I'm just sanding away any little bits of wood glue that are sticking out. I am going to use my favorite Waverly chalk paint again in the color truffle and give this box the look of a dark walnut stain. I'm also thinking that this box could be um, very versatile to change out what's inside for different holidays and seasons. It would look really pretty around Christmas time with maybe some ribbon, some pine cones. Um, what else do you guys think this box could be used for in your home decor? All right, and now that our box is dry, I'm just setting my six little white buckets with my succulents inside, and there you go. Here is our finished product, my third succulent decor DIY for this video. Which one did you guys like the best of the three? So you've made it to the end, and here is the giveaway, the secret giveaway. I have four extra sets of the succulent wall stickers. Comment below which of these DIYs you liked the best and you are entered to win. I'm going to leave the giveaway open for comments until May 31st and then I will notify the winner. Good luck.